Well, good afternoon. Welcome back. Um, I've got another update from the flight deck today. Um, so I've had some very, very big changes take place um, that I would like to to show you today. Um, I don't think this will be quite as long as the last video, but I said that um, before, and it turned out being a longer video than. Uh, than I'd hoped or anticipated, I should say. So a couple of major things have happened. So first of all, I sit in the jump seat here. You can see that I have reconfigured the centre pedestal. So there was a flight management computer here, um, and I have uh, reconfigured it. So FM FMS or FMC was here taking over these three panels uh, and I have uh, taken the FMC out and put the pedestal inertial navigation uh, system panel whatever you want to call it back in place and then we've got these two here uh, as well not uh, not too sure what these are because I don't recognize these from the Felis 747 which is what I fly on its plane uh, I don't recognise these two panels, but I will learn, I will find out what they are. Um, but anyway, so the reason I've done this is, as I said in the in the last video, I will be using flight management computers to power the simulator. Um, but from having a look, the INS is always left in the centre pedestal, and then two flight management computers are put over in the, what I know it to be as the CDU bay, but I, I don't know, centre forward panel, I guess you would call it. Um, I only have one at the moment, so I have put it down here, where the, on the captain's side. Um, need to get a little plate to fill this gap in here. Otherwise, when everything's powered up, you'll get all the lighting bleeding through, which we don't, we don't want, because it won't look very nice. Okay, um, so you can see what's on the other side, which was more or less exactly what was over here. But yeah, just take these panels out and uh, replace. Now, unfortunately, I won't be using this. This is just a placeholder for now because this Flight Deck Solutions uh, 747-400 flight management computer is not compatible with X-Plane. It's only compatible with um, AeroWinks. Uh, PSX for the 747-400 so I'm not going to be able to use that with the sim um, and someone in the comment section very rightly said that I should really go with the most expensive flight management computers um, because I will be opening this up as a um, simulator experience and um, the more expensive products will last longer um, so, and these flight management computers from Flight Deck Solutions are the most expensive product, excuse my knee clicking there, uh, are the most expensive product, but they're not compatible with X-Plane, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to get the open cockpits versions, which I showed uh, on the last video on my computer, um, and then I'll put this one up for sale if anyone's interested or anyone wants it. Uh, close to the time I'll stick it up for sale. Um, and then the biggest change that I'm really, really happy with is, look at that. Captain's main instrument panel is complete. So you remember last time the RDMI was missing and the ADI, or artificial horizon, whatever you want to call it, was missing. I just want to take a seat back here because it's hurting my knees to bend down. Um, but how good does that look? It really brings the cockpit to life. Um, I'm so chuffed with it. Um, the RDMI down there is from a Boeing 757 or a 767 
could be from both, I don't know. It's stamped as coming from an avionics department at Heathrow, so I'm presuming it's from a British Airways aircraft, either a 75 or a 76. Couldn't be totally sure, because I'm no expert, but uh, yeah. And then the uh, artificial horizon, ADI, attitude directional indicator, is actually from a 737. But the 737 ones are easier to find um, because the, the 747 classics are really difficult to find parts for. So it's from a 737, but it fits, works the same, and it will be much easier to find an identical one for the first officer's side, which is looking very bare in comparison. But yeah, this really looks the part. Um, and from this sort of view here, looks pretty much complete. Uh, we've got the, obviously, like I just said, captain's side complete with his flight management computer down there, centre pedestal complete. Um, I need to sort out these windows at the window trim up there, it needs to be put in properly and those wires need to be gotten out of the way, um, but I can't seem to find the fittings, um, the screws to fit the trim into the, the window, obviously which we're going here and here, this is just stuck on by gravity at the moment, this one, that one I've put a screw in temporarily but it's not the right one. Uh, which is why it's sort of hanging off there. I can't for the life of me seem to find the screws. I don't know where they've gone. Um, there was a bag with a load of parts that was down in one of these drinks holders, but I can't, I don't know, I can't find, find them. But I'll have a little look around, I'll see what I can find, because these windows were obviously taken out to feed the rope through to carry the cockpit off of the aircraft. Um, but, uh, yeah, but I'll find them. Um, so, update on things to do before I leave you uh, again. Um, so, again, cleaning, I know I said I'd do it last time, but I haven't gotten around to it. Uh, cleaning, I need to clean the floor. I need to clean all of this. <laughs> I think that's black mold, if I'm quite honest with you, which you shouldn't really be breathing in. Um, so I need to come down here and clean the mould out of it. I need to get a dehumidifier to put in here to absorb mould while it's sitting outside. Spiders have been making their home in here, which I don't really mind. At the moment I'm not too bothered about the spiders. They can be cleaned out some other time. Um, but um, the map light over here needs to be sorted out. I've got the... Uh, the rotary knob which I need to fit um, as I said window trims need to be sorted out um, and then first officer's side in the new year because I haven't got any money now because of Christmas coming up which is the same for everyone I'm presuming um, so uh, new year I need to get the missing instrumentation for the first officer's side um, need to sort out the flight management computers the ones that are actually going to go in here uh, I need to sort out the engineers panel, unfortunately the company in Spain who are going to replicate the panels here, um, I don't think they're able to do it at the moment with high volume orders for Christmas now um, because I have been in contact and I don't think they're able to, to sort anything out which is fine, it's understandable. Um, and I have actually found a, well I haven't, I haven't found, but somebody, somebody showed me a bus tie panel. Um, but there's only one and it's missing the two gauges, which are going to be a right pain to find. Um, and obviously there's only one, I need two. But it's 250 quid, I can't afford that at the moment, like I said with Christmas coming up. But we'll get the engineer's panel sorted. Um, like I said, at the beginning, probably replica panels um, in the new year. I'll get them sorted out. Um, 
So with all of that, um, the last thing I need is seats. I've got a replica seat that I'm going to pick up at some point. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when, but uh, I will be going to pick it up. It's made out of wood. It's not not great, it, but it will do. Um, and then I will replicate one for the first officer's side, and then flight engineer. I'll sort something out as well. And then, like I said, once the cockpit's complete um, in the new year, uh, we will get it put inside and put up onto a platform where we can start working on the underneath and everything. Start ripping out all these old electronic cables and everything and start turning it into a simulator. Um, the last thing I will say uh, before I go is I have, and I expected this, um, I have received a fair few messages both privately via email because my email is in the comments section uh, of a few of my videos for people who have wanted to get in touch. Um, not from the people who, I, who I've uh, left my address to, but from other people who have been through the comments and seen that my email address is there. I've had both private messages and a few public messages, um, people expressing that this will never get completed. Um, the public messages on uh, as comments are actually usually quite nice. Um, I've had two, I think. And one was recently the other day, the person was very nice, very pleasant, just said that they think it's going to be a nightmare to convert into a simulator and that they don't see how it's going to be done. Yes, I understand that entirely. It is a massive project. But we'll get there. It's been done before. And uh, we can do it. We can absolutely do it. Uh, I've had another one that was a bit negative, but uh, again, not not really unpleasant but then I've had a few private messages basically people telling me that I don't know what I'm talking about and that this will never be complete and that I'm wasting my time um, but all I have to say to the people who are being like that is I will make you eat your words uh, and you will see um, in a year's time something like that when we are well underway you will see that uh, you were so wrong but there we go um, that's all I have time for. Uh, excuse my knee again. That's all I have time for today. I'm going to go home now. Uh, and uh, yeah, the last little shot. Pedestal there. Flight management computer. And look at that. That just looks so good. I'm so happy with that. So thank you for watching, and I will see you for another update soon. Bye-bye.